<laughs> He's fucking bald, bro. I can't. Bum bottom. Bum bottom. Bum bum bottom. Taking your tum tum and he will go by. Making Rare and Epic MSM Monsters Part 1 Enchantling Did I do a good job? Today we're drawing Emperor. He's my favorite monster who's yours. Like and follow. Hope you like it.
boxes as horror characters. Part 5. Plant. I know whispering is spelled wrong. No need to remind me. Drawn every monster on the continent. Day 39, Clamble. Drawing every monster on cold land. Day 2, man. Ho ho ho! I think monsters concept design versus the new design. Uh, T-Rox? I'd say I'd say the old one is better. Most of the new ones are gonna be better since they just well they're just like smoothly designed. I don't know how to explain it. Embra, uh, I'd say the new one is better because the new one's bigger and I think that represents a four elemental better. More? They could go interchangeably. I'd say this is an equal vote. Toe Jammer. I'd say this is the first one. I'd say the old the concept art was better. Because look at its mouth, it could, it's going boo. Noggin, I think that one's horrible. Why is it woods? People are gonna get that confused for being a uh, plant. Octopus, I quite like the old one. Yeah, I, I'm choosing the old one. Pot, oh, what the hell? No, no, just no. no. Pot belly, I like, I like the new one more because it goes bap, bat, bap, bap. If there was just one pot belly, head going bap, bat, bap, bap, it wouldn't make sense. Watch me rather if I am That he was one of the titans who have recorded monster history. The symbols on him seemingly represent the breeding combination for the single elements of Earth Island. I'll be drawing the bone island, titan at the last and who should I draw next? Mammoth!
drawing every monster on the continent. Day 17, Floa. You are my best friend. If I'm dying, you dying with me. Ain't no. Prank him, John. <laughs> you already know. Do it. Round one. Rare banjo. Oh yeah. Round Easy peasy. Epic shrub. Epic shrub. Round three. Epic waddle. Uh, candelabra. Answer, candelabra. Final round. Epic Bogart. A, A, A. Answer, Epic Bogart. Mm -hmm. Comment mm -hmm. your score out of five. Light five out of five, baby! Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Whew. Okay, it's got a little kick. Oh. Have you ever slept in or hit the snooze too many times and then remembered you had to be somewhere? Well, that's what happened to DJ Epic, and this is Monster Mythos. The sun was shining, the music was bumping, and Summer Song was in full swing. Despite DJ Epic not making its iconic appearance, the monsters did their best to keep Summer Song going strong. However, this didn't answer the question. Where was DJ Epic? Well... Across the living ocean, a top seasonal shanty laying on a beach chair was none other than DJ Epic, enjoying a lazy summer evening and watching the sunset beyond the water. It didn't have a care in the world. Huh? What? DJ Epic thought. That music sounds like Club Ox. Oh no, Club Ox! Why didn't Bill contact me? In a panic, DJ Epic knew it had to get to Club Ox, pronto. Luckily, the skyship was parked on top of Seasonal Shanty, allowing DJ Epic to hop aboard and take flight with maximum speed over the living ocean. Because the Summer Song celebration was coming to an end, DJ Epic flew swiftly and quickly through the clouds, so fast, in fact, that the skyship lost control and was barreling down towards Earth Island. But just in the nick of time, DJ Epic gained control and landed safely on the ground. Thankfully, Bookworm was close by and took hold of the skyship, allowing DJ Epic to take center stage, where it thanked all the monsters for keeping the party going. Everyone cheered now that DJ Epic was finally at the helm. Club Ox took to the skies, and the celebration for Summer Song was brought to an end with a truly epic finale.
out the whole ocean. Tell him to bring 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 out the whole ocean. 